everybody and welcome to today's vlog. I haven't vlogged in quite a while. I actually tried vlogging last week or this week or something and I just fell out of tune with it so I deleted all the footage but yes today we're vlogging and I'm home alone with my baby all day and I'm going to be sharing her two month update and my two month postpartum update and um yeah, she's more like two and a half months now. She turned two months on September 21st. Today is October 3rd, so she's more like two and a half months, but that's okay. I'm just gonna have you guys follow along with me on our day at home, uh, being a new mom with a really, really cute baby. This is what she's looking like. She's grown a lot. And as soon as I put the camera on her, she stops smiling, but she smiles all the time. And she loves her changing pad. Her changing pad is her favorite place to be. She just likes to chill out on here. And this is where we get the most smiles out of her. And she likes to kick and do all sorts of stretching and exercise. But yep, yeah, she's just the best little baby. We love her so much. to be i highly recommend the salty baby wrap um it allows me to like make my breakfast and eat my breakfast hands-free and still having my baby close to me um as well as other things like you know folding laundry and uh, if you're really crafty you can figure out how to do dishes with this on um yeah it's a lifesaver and then you don't have to feel guilty about being away from your baby you're putting the baby down all right so i have her in the crib don't worry about the pillow and the boppy. I'm watching her. I'm um, just sitting like two feet over there. Um, but we'll see how she does. Because she's a little fussy right now. But she really loves looking at her mobile that I made for her. So hopefully... Oh, there's a smile. Hopefully she'll be content in her crib while I eat. <laughs> Alright, so she seems to be in a pretty content mood right now. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about our updates. I'm going to talk about... Her first, um, so she had her two month pediatrician appointment, her doctor's appointment, and um, she weighed nine pounds and five ounces at two weeks. And she was like, I forget how long she was, but she had grown a whole inch since her one month update. And um, I think she, for on her like chart, because she was born six pounds, five ounces, um, so she gained exactly three pounds at two months, um, and that put her in the 15th percentile on, like, her chart, um, and her height was in, like, the 18th, um, but her little head, her little, not so little head, I guess, was in the 65th percentile, so she's got big brain in there, apparently, which is good. He said, um, that everything looks really good, and that, um she's doing really well he asked about her sleep during the night and I said that she had been doing six to seven hour stretches and he was really impressed and he said that they don't usually start doing that till four months old so he was really happy with that and yeah she was pretty much perfect at her two month checkup she did get her shots that day which was really sad to watch but she handled them like a champ and Everything has been good ever since. As far as like other milestones that we've noticed since being home, um, she follows my husband and I. Like if my mom is holding her, if my husband is holding her, she'll follow me around the house or she'll follow my husband around the house. She'll react to our voices. If we walk in the room, she starts looking for us. Um, she's smiling like all the time. It's the best when your baby starts smiling like socially it's just the best feeling she's also starting to grab things not like reach out and grab things but if she's wearing like a dress that she can grab or if i put a burp cloth on her she grabs it she grabs her washcloth when she's in the bath um she grabs my shirt she grabs my hair 
Um, anything that's on her that she can grab, she will grab. And she really likes holding stuff. And I actually, my mom bought her a little toy for her car seat. Um, and she, I've seen her do it a few times now with her left hand actually. She tries to reach for the toy and then like she totally misses because she doesn't have that coordination yet and she'll like hit her head or something. But I can see her staring at the toy and she's like reaching and concentrating so hard. So she's definitely motivated to start reaching for stuff but she's still just a little bit too young. Um, but there's definitely a lot of interest in that. Um, she's also rolled over from her tummy to her back. She's done it about six times now. And the first time she did it, she did it four times in a row. And I was like, oh my gosh. And my husband happened to be home and my mom was home. And so it was really exciting when it happened um, because it wasn't just me, like they happened to be there to see it too. Um, so she did it four times in a row and then she did it once more later on that night. And then she did it again, like two days later. Um, but um, she does it on her terms. Like it's very much like her terms. Like I can't just like, Put her down whenever and expect her to do it um and my mom also said that after they learn to do it and they do it a bunch they might like kind of like forget for a few days or a couple or a week or so until they like get the hang of it again because it kind of like she said it will kind of like leave like that sensation in that um it, like feeling of doing it will leave and then it'll come back to them so that's definitely i think been her case she also loves whenever I read to her. I try to read to her every day. Sometimes I don't get to it because sometimes we have rough days where she just wants to sleep and eat and poop all day. Yeah. Most of her days are good though and we have time to read books, right baby? And you love reading books. Um, I don't know what this is on her face. She woke up with it. I think she just was digging at her eye in her sleep. Yeah, and then as far as sleep goes, she's still a really great sleeper. Um, I don't keep her on a strict schedule during the day as far as like napping and eating and awake time or anything. I don't follow any kind of schedule. Um, if she's tired, she sleeps. I don't usually like try to put her to sleep though. I let her fall asleep on her own terms and if she falls asleep on me, I'll just kind of chill out until she wakes up or if she falls asleep in her stroller or if she falls asleep you know just wherever she falls asleep i just kind of let her stay there um i don't know if people would agree with that but i just feel like to make it like natural and not make it like such a strict part of your day like oh my gosh she has to sleep in her crib for x amount of hours or she has to sleep in her bassinet for x amount of hours like I, and she has to be awake in between for X amount of hours. I don't follow any type of routine. Um, I'm just very chill back parenting, I guess. Um, and it works for her. She sleeps really great through the night. And yeah, it's been working. So yeah, hopefully I don't get any judgment or mom shame for that, but I don't keep her on any type of schedule. Whenever she wants to eat, I feed her. Um, lately, it's been about every hour to two hours um, during the day um, is when I've been feeding her. And I just think feeding on demand is the best thing for your baby and not having to make them wait. I mean, if they're hungry, just uh, just feed your baby, it's my opinion. It's really great for your milk supply too. That's the best thing you can do for your milk supply is feeding your baby when they're hungry. Um, I'm trying to think of any other significant change. Uh, she's just growing. She's just growing up. Like, she's just, she's not that newborn baby that just, all she does is sleep, poop, and eat. Like, she wants to play. She wants to be talked to. She wants to be walked around. She notices everything. Um, she's a very observant little baby. It's really fun to see. Um, her hair has, she's lost a little bit of her hair, but it's also because her head has grown a lot. So the hair is like stretched is what my mom was trying to explain to me. Um, but she, I think has lost close to like, I think all the hair that she's gonna lose. And our doctor said that she would probably lose more and he thinks that it's gonna grow in like an auburn or ginger color. But I think this is actually going to be her hair color. Oh, I think she's gonna have like a light brown sandy hair color with a reddish tint. It definitely has a red tint to it. 
And that's common in a lot of females in my family. <laughs> if they don't have red hair, they have a red tint to it. I am the only true redhead uh, female in my family though. I have a brother with red hair and then I have a sister with like strawberry blonde hair, but it's turned more auburn as she's gotten older. I think maybe as she gets older, it'll turn an auburn shade, but I think mainly like my husband's hair is like black. It is so dark brown that it is pretty much black. So I, I just don't see this going away. Um, so yeah, that's definitely the most annoying thing that I'm going through right now is the hair loss. I don't care so much about the hair loss because I know it's gonna grow back. What's just really annoying is that it's everywhere. It's like her fake cry or like her tired cry. It's not that like she needs anything. It's just that she's tired and she's fighting her nap. All right, so she seems to be doing better if I stand by her and she can see me. So I'm just gonna do the rest of the update here. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the postpartum hair loss has been the most annoying thing that I've, going through, that I've been going through. And it's not so much that I'm losing hair, it's just the fact that it's just getting everywhere. Um, it's getting all over her, which paranoids me because I don't want it to cut off circulation anywhere in her body. Um, it's getting all over me. It's getting all over my husband. It's all over our bed and our sheets. It's getting in her bassinet. It's just, it's all over the couch out in the living room. Like it's just like weaved into the couch. It's just ridiculous and I can't stand it and I can't wait for this to end because like I shed a lot to begin with. And so it's just like on a whole nother level right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's been the hardest thing. I did have my six week postpartum update and I got cleared for exercise and all the other activities that you can get cleared for at your six week appointment. She said that everything looked and felt completely back to normal. And yeah, so that was great. Super happy about that. Um, as far as weight loss, I'm still hanging on to like an extra two to three pounds. It fluctuates. And I've read to like not uh, worry about like hanging on to a few extra pounds while you're breastfeeding because it's probably just helping with your milk production and all that weight is probably just like milk or for your milk. So um, my mom told me that too and she told me not to worry about losing any more weight and I, I'm not. I Honestly, if I stayed at this weight for the rest of my life, I'd be content. I was a little too bony before. Not like skinny, but like bony i don't know it was weird um so yeah i think that's pretty much the update with me um i've not had any like postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety yet keep our fingers crossed that it never shows up um i do have anxiety about her but like it's not like actual postpartum anxiety it's just general parenting anxiety i'm pretty sure but yeah i think that's pretty much the update for me if anything changes i'll let you guys know in the next video in the meantime, I'm gonna try to help this girl fall asleep because she's so tired. And then I have lots of chores to do. Yeah, I have lots of chores, Dahlia. <laughs> I have to fold laundry and clean the bathroom and vacuum up all of mommy's hair because it's everywhere. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I also get to decorate for fall today. I'm kind of late to the game. Usually I decorate in September and today's October 3rd, which happy Moon Girls Day if you celebrate. But um, yeah, I get to decorate for fall with all of my, with all of my fall decorations are here now. All right, so I was in the middle of folding some laundry and she was taking a nap and um, I was playing Disney music for her on her phone, so I wasn't like filming or anything during this time. Um, she really likes Disney music. Um, like she, it just puts her to sleep and it helps keep her asleep, but she woke up and it, I looked and it was pretty much about the time that she would get hungry. So taking a break to eat. Um, there is a point that I was going to get to. Mom brain, I forget what I was gonna say. But I've definitely had to learn to have more patience with myself and with the amount of things that I can get done in each day because at the end of the day, like taking care of her is the most important thing that I can do. And if that means that, you know, the laundry doesn't get folded for five days or the bathroom goes longer than it needs to without being claimed and 
I don't vacuum for over a week. You know, like these are just small things that are coming up to my head, but it can be anything. Um, I mean, if that's the price to pay for my baby's needs being met, um, then that's what it is, you know? Just thought I would share a little bit of more real life. Um, I started this vlog um, about 11 something. And it's now almost four o'clock and the only thing that I've gotten done is I've been able to clean half of the bathroom. I've been able to vacuum her nursery slash my office area and I folded laundry. And that's all I've been able to get done since being up at 11 this morning. Yeah, I just thought I'd share like <laughs> how much I'm really able to get done in that amount of time. Usually I would be able to get all of that done within like an hour. Um, but it's taken me since 11 something this morning and it's almost 4 o'clock. So that's real life. She's been a bit more needy today, which is absolutely fine. I don't have an issue with that, but um, it definitely takes a toll on your productivity or quote unquote productivity. Um, you can't really be productive with a newborn, I feel like. Um, that's no use in really even trying, <laughs> but you can do little things here and there while they nap or while they're content. Um, but obviously I want to spend as much time with her as well when she's awake and she's content because I want her to have tummy time. I want to be able to read to her and help her develop in all the ways that she needs to. So it's really hard to find that balance of getting stuff done that like needs to get done and then, you know, taking care of your baby. <laughs> so it would be really nice one of these days if I was able to do something with my hair again. Um, it's falling out, but the actual texture of my hair is awful. It's super coarse and like frizzy and some days it's greasy and some days it's super dry. It's so annoying and it's horrible and it always looks like trash. Um, I think I've had like two days since she's been born where I haven't looked like complete trash. And it's mainly just because my hair has been so hard to style and to have it look good since I've had her.